It's time for you and your business to join the best monetary network humanity has ever created. I'm Darren, and I'm going to show you the basics of how to accept Bitcoin as payment for your products, your services, donations, tips, or whatever else you do. We're going to cover why you should accept Bitcoin, what you need, and the tools that can help you get started in accepting Bitcoin for your business today. So Bitcoin is not just a speculative bubble that the mainstream media might have you think. It is a global monetary network that is permissionless, available to anyone across the globe without a middleman. Now, I know this is a small example, but a whole country just decided to make Bitcoin a legal tender. There's 1.4 million people in El Salvador with bank accounts. There is now 2.2 million people in El Salvador with Bitcoin wallets. And that is within one month of it becoming law. There's more and more people joining the Bitcoin network every day and leaving the banking system. There's millions of people around the world who are unbanked who use the Bitcoin network every day to buy goods and services with, and more and more people are leaving the banking systems to join this peer-to-peer -peer robust network that exists. You don't need a business license. You don't need an ID. You don't need to be in a specific country. It is the least headache payment system that you will ever have. I can promise you that. So in order to set up Bitcoin as payments, we've got to ask, how do you accept payments? Are you just doing point of sale? Do you do all of your transactions in person? Are you looking to set up tips online? Are you looking to stream? Are you looking for donations? Are you looking to, for full e-commerce setup on multiple different sites? There's solutions for every one of those, um, but those are probably all different videos. So I'm just gonna go from the easiest setup um, to the most advanced best setup for you. The first thing you need to get started that everyone needs to get started is a grasp on what a Bitcoin wallet is. This is where you're going to be storing your Bitcoin. A Bitcoin wallet is software where you store your keys to access your Bitcoin on the blockchain. Now, if that's a little confusing for you, it's essentially where you store your Bitcoin, where you transact your Bitcoin. There's two types you can consider, a hot wallet and a cold wallet. A hot wallet is pretty much just software you download on your device, whether it be computer, iPad, phone, super easy to use, free. Then the other one is a cold wallet. So this generates your keys, keeps all of your information offline 24 seven. It just adds that layer of security where if you had a hot wallet, you could have a malicious program on your computer that tracks your keystrokes, screen records, something like that to get into your wallet. Good news is Bitcoin wallets are mathematically secure. So unless you've given up your seed phrase, unless you haven't backed it up properly, um, the Bitcoin is always there for you to access again and nobody can hack into it. When choosing a wallet, it really depends on your situation. Are you someone who takes in a lot of money? Do you wanna keep it long-term? Are you just collecting little tips at once? Are you going to be buying and selling with Bitcoin? So there's a lot of different options on what wallet to use. I would recommend just a hot wallet for anybody getting started. If you're doing easy point of sale stuff, it's on your phone, it's convenient. It's gonna be there, you can move it to cold storage if you want. You can connect to the Lightning Network for instant cheap payments. If you're selling bigger ticket items, you hold on to your money for long periods of time. I would highly recommend cold storage. So we're gonna start with the easiest way. And this is kind of for that point of sale. If you're selling in person, maybe you sell one thing at a time. This is a hot wallet you can download called Moon Wallet. This is M-U-U-N. This allows you to connect both to Bitcoin and to the Lightning Network, which is an advantage of a hot wallet. So when you log into Moon, um, you're going to enter into your wallet. Number one thing you need to do is back up your wallet. Again, if you don't know how to do this, I have videos on that. Essentially, it's a 12 word phrase that you need to write down and this is how you get into it if you ever lose your phone, if you ever lose your password. So to receive Bitcoin, you're gonna press receive. You can actually go to, you can choose whether it's Bitcoin or Bitcoin Lightning. You can actually go to advanced settings and add the amount. So this has invoicing capability. Say I want to add 25 Canadian dollars. I can do that. I can even choose any amount I would like. And I'm going to copy this address or share it. And then when I send it to somebody, it will pull up an invoice. When they scan this address or paste this address in, it knows that this will be sending $25 automatically with all the fees calculated in. Same goes on Lightning. And the reason 
I choose Moon Wallet is because it has both Lightning and Bitcoin. So you can decide whether you want to use the Bitcoin network, so trading actual Bitcoin, or the layer two solution of Bitcoin, which is called Bitcoin Lightning, where there's very cheap fees and instant peer-to-peer um, -peer transactions. Now, Lightning is still Bitcoin, so layer two solution of Bitcoin. So if we give an example, the fiat money we use today is either in a bank or in a database. But we don't trade those database numbers. We don't trade those notes that are in the bank. We use a layer two solution with notes. So this is cash. You trade cash in and out um, without ever touching what's in the bank or what was supposed to be once backed by gold. Um, so that's a layer two solution. So it's kind of the same with Lightning. Moon is also a non-custodial wallet, and this is why I recommend it. There's very few Lightning wallets that are non-custodial. This is because Lightning is so new, not a lot of wallets um, will allow you to actually hold your own Lightning payments in your own wallet. A lot of them are custodial, so they hold them for you. Um, but Moon does a great job, so you know all of your funds are yours and you can choose what to do with them. The second is a little bit more advanced and this is something like BitPay. So this is kind of like a Stripe or a PayPal account completely for Bitcoin. So you can connect to Shopify, you can connect to your WooCommerce, you can create point of sales apps with this, you can create invoicing, it has full accounting features. However, these are custodial. So what that means is they hold all of your Bitcoin until you ask them to take it off. Now this is bad because custodial services have to follow all rules and regulations because they're technically holding all of your money. Um, so this means you're going to have to give up all of your ID, company information, they're going to know all of your transactions. In some jurisdictions, they have to report transactions to the government that you've made. The security um, on something like this is not great, but for somebody starting, it could be a good option if you don't want to deal with all that wallet stuff, if that gave you a headache, because it's kind of just like logging into a Stripe account or a bank account that you might be used to today. today. The third most advanced, versatile, but best way is BTC Pay Server. Now this is an open source software program that is available for anyone in the world to download completely anonymously. It allows you to create invoices both in Bitcoin and Lightning. You can create point of sale apps. You can create multiple accounts, connect multiple different wallets. Now you can also create multiple stores within BTC Pay Server, connect it with multiple different types of software, whether this is your e-commerce software, um, your social media, it has full checkout capabilities, full point of sale capabilities. It's also private and censorship resistant because you actually can host it. This is where it gets a little bit complicated um, because you're going to have to host this program on a specific server. So they have on their website, they show you where you can host this. So if you want to BTC pay server to run 24 seven, um, you can do that with the servers they provide and how to set it up. In my latest video, I talk about Bitcoin nodes. I connected my BTC pay server to Umbral and I have installed BTC pay server that runs 24 seven, that allows me to um, send invoices, collect payments. People can buy things at my shop 24 seven hours a day seven days a week. So this is uh, it's a little bit more complex, but there is a huge advantage in using BTC Pay Server. So I hope that gave you a bit of overview on how to accept Bitcoin as payments, what to think about when accepting Bitcoin as payments. I'm sure you need a tutorial for your specific situation or help. I'm glad to help you out in setting up Bitcoin for your business. You can even go to my website, download my guide on how to accept Bitcoin payments for your specific situation. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.